decentralized finance has developed very recently. It is a new field, like uh, um, and many of the classical arguments, classical finance arguments, have not been uh, used uh, used yet. So this field has not been like uh, uh, I would say formalized yet. So this is why it's, the, it's a very good opportunity, or both for like a research perspective and both from a practitioner perspective. My name is Marcello Monga, and uh, the title of my paper is uh, Decentralized Finance Automated Market Making, Execution and Speculation. So uh, what I've looked at is like uh, how to execute large orders in these stable trading venues, uh, also using market signals coming from uh, classical trading venues. Because at the moment, uh, these uh, automated market makers are not liquid enough. So uh, usually price formation happens in other trading venues. So what happens is that in our algorithms, we can use uh, uh, alternative trading venues as a signal for predicting the price in, uh, in uh, AMMs. So what we're doing is like uh, we're using Binance prices more specifically to predict the price in uh, AMMs. And this proved to be actually uh, to, to work, to work quite nicely. So the reason why we decided to explore this field is like to provide the practitioner with the right tools to explore this new type of trading venues. So, so far there has not been like a systematic approach to these type of trading venues. So it is important to like give traders the right tools for like uh, being able to also explore these type of markets. So the, right, the tools that we are using are based on uh, mathematical arguments. So what we're doing is uh, we're saying like uh, whenever you have a large order, like given the size of your order, given the, the time frame where you want to execute your order, we give you the exact schedule in, at which your order should be executed according to the specific market situations. So, so far we, we analyzed the uh, liquidity taker perspective, so the perspective of um, an investor who wants to execute large orders or wants to use these uh, training venues to speculate. And, uh, but we haven't uh, observed like, uh, the market maker perspective, so liquidity provider perspective. So the liquidity provider perspective is very different from other training venues and it's actually something that is, uh, is actually very interesting to, to research because it has a lot of opportunities for market makers but it has not like, been uh, studied with the proper mathematical tools yet. So, so far we, are, we already have a research paper which we posted recently it's, uh, from the liquidity provider perspective and uh, so this is, uh, was on, on our agenda and on our agenda we also have another paper for uh, liquidity providers in uh, these type of training venues by using uh, machine learning uh, tools. It's actually about more the mechanism. So it, this is a totally different mechanism of how the, uh, the market happens. So usually in limit order book markets you don't have like, uh, um, for example, the, the impact of your orders is, is, uh, is kind of random. So you don't know what's going to happen. It really depends on like uh, of the side of a living order book. And uh, in this type of training venues, your market impact is deterministic, which means that you exactly know with a specific formula, like uh, the impact that your order is going to have. So it makes this, uh, this new type of training venues kind of different from, uh, from usual.